Hello friends, welcome. Let's look at this interesting integration example. We have to find out the integration of dx by square x into square root of ax minus x square. We can solve this in two ways. One way is we can take x equal to a by t and we can solve that and I will leave it to you to try with that. I will in this example solve the problem by taking x equal to a sin square theta. So let's look at how we can solve this example by taking x equal to a sin square theta. Now first of all why we can't take x equal to a sin theta why we are taking only a sin square theta if I take x equal to a sin theta I will have in the square root a into a sin theta that is a square sin theta minus a square sin square theta that is x square but if you take x out you can't remove that square root there is no option for you to remove that square root but if I take x equal to a sin square theta it will simplify so let's have a look at that how it works out So let's start with x equal to a sin square theta. What will be the dx? dx equal to a into sin square theta differentiation is 2 sin theta cos theta d theta. So that's nothing but 2a sin theta cos theta d theta. So I have dx equal to 2a sin theta cos theta d theta. Now let's come back here. We'll write down our first step. We will say dx equal to, we have just found it now. We are trying to convert everything into theta. So it's, since it's x equal to a sin square theta, dx is 2a sin theta cos theta d theta divided by x equal to a sin square theta and we have then square root of a into x that is a into a sin square theta minus x square x square is a square sin to the power of 4 theta this is nothing but equal to I have 2a sin theta cos theta d theta then I have in the denominator a sin square theta I have square root of let's simplify it here we have in the square root square root of a square I will take another color so that will not get confused let me just pick another color here okay we will find out what is the denominator that's nothing but in square root that is a square sin square theta minus a square sin to the power of 4 theta so can I write it as what is common I can take here I can take a square sin square theta common I will have 1 minus sin square theta left out it's a square sin square theta minus a square sin to the power of 4 theta is nothing but equal to a square sin square theta into 1 minus sin square theta. Now we know that this is nothing but equal to a square sin square theta cos square theta which is equal to a sin theta cos theta and d theta. So that's the simplification part which we have done in the rough. So we can go back now and we can substitute instead of square root of a square sin square theta minus a square sin to the power 4 theta I can directly write out a sin theta cos theta let me put okay now let's simplify this sin theta sin theta cos theta cos theta a a cancels out so what I am left out is with 2 by a 
cosecant square theta d theta. But we know that integration of cosecant square theta is nothing but equal to minus cot theta plus c. Now the only problem we have is how to convert this theta into again back into x. So we will do that. We know that x equal to a sin square theta that tells me x by a equal to sin square theta or sin theta equal to plus or minus x by a. So if I have the angle theta here I have sin theta that's nothing but opposite by hypotenuse so cut over opposite by hypotenuse opposite I should have root of x by a and the hypotenuse will be 1 because sin theta is equal to square root of x by a if x by a is sin square theta then sin theta equal to square root of x by a so by using Pythagoras theorem you know that if your hypotenuse has to be 1 then this term should be cancelled so I should have 1 minus x by a just add them together square it 1 minus x by a plus x by a equal to 1 now what is our cot theta cot theta is equal to adjacent by opposite adjacent by opposite that is nothing but root of 1 minus x by a by root of x by a which is equal to root of a minus x by x because you have denominator a a will cancel you will have root of a minus x by x so our last step will be nothing but equal to minus 2 by a square root of a minus x by x plus c so that's our answer for the integration of d the integration of 1 by x into square root of a x minus x square you should have tried with x equal to a by t you can look at this solution where x equal to a sin square theta so please let me know your feedback of you felt this solution is i'll catch you again with one more interesting example thanks for your time and support bye for now